protests erupted in Albuquerque this weekend over a deadly officer involved shooting. At tonight's city council meeting, there was outrage from residents and counselors demanding change. News 13's Gabe Chavez was at the meeting and has details on the police department's response. He had every right to live just like the rest of us. He wasn't perfect, but he was a human being. That's 39-year-old Matthew Solo Garcia's mother emotional at the Albuquerque City Council meeting tonight, calling out police for killing her son on Friday. The Albuquerque Police Department was at the Tiwa Lodge off of Central and Alvarado Drive conducting a code enforcement operation after the owner complained to the city about high crime and drug use near the property. The operation turned chaotic when officers encountered Garcia. Officers cuffed Garcia and placed him in the back of a police cruiser, breaking protocol by not searching Garcia first for a gun, something that he had on him. Officers were literally in a wrestling match with this individual, trying to control and remove the gun from the individual when the shots were fired. Gun, gun, gun. Gun. Garcia was shot in the back of the police unit and died. A protest erupted and two people were arrested for breaking a police line and striking an officer. At tonight's city council meeting, Chief Harold Medina addressed the shooting and called out misinformation being spread online. He also outlined the process officers need to follow when someone is being placed under arrest. Needed to search individuals. There is a investigation into the search of this individual prior to being put into the car. And I don't want to get into details because this still is an active uh, administrative investigation. But I remind council that every single officer involved shooting that we have or use of force is fully reviewed. Counselors were outraged, saying this should have never happened. I have never seen a police officer have to shoot someone in the back seat in a ha in a vehicle that has been handcuffed. Residents also called out APD, arguing for structural change. Solo Garcia's blood is on your hands. Control your cops. When the roots are rotten to the core, so is all the fruit. Let's not forget that APD is bottom line by Chief Harold Medina. You should listen to your community and make your cops accountable. Stop writing them blank checks to preserve whatever you may perceive as justice. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. APD says they will release the body camera video later on in their investigation.